score and the component score. It is very close. That is good. So the Valgodes, brother and sisters, brother and sister, 27 years old, Pedro, Ana Luisa, 24. Now they're going to be dancing to the Hours medley. And it's from, uh, the composer is Philip Glass. It's from the film, the Stephen Daldry film with Nicole Kidman, Meryl Streep and Julianne Moore. Yes, and she looks a little like Julie Moore. Yeah. Last year, silver medal winner in Asuncion at the Worlds. And they oh, normally have incredible free dances. So let's enjoy it together. And to know it. For what it is. To love it. For what it is. Starting with the choreo lift. Oh! What a lift. Now it's up to the travelings. First sequence was good. What about the second one? element the rotational lift what an entry what a lift maximum length of 10 seconds Absolutely beautiful there. Wow. From the Valgodes, the siblings, brother and sister combination. 
and it had such flow, such style, the speed and grace that they carried across the rink. But, Petra, there was a slight mistake that you detected early on. In it was the, the first uh, element, the choreo lift. So I, I really hope that they will show it us again in a slow motion. For me, it was the program of the day. This program is the best worldwide at the moment. Last year, they showed us at the Worlds that they are the best free dancers. And they really showed it again. So it would be, of course, not really good for them that if at the end maybe it's the choreo lift that, make, uh, that will make the difference. Because the Italian is without any mistake, without any error. And, but all of the other lifts, the step sequences, the travelings, and especially they had a good speed in their program. It was so easy that it was amazing to watch, incredible. Here, Hugo Chaputi was a solo days world champion in 2009. But you see it in their faces. They know it will become very, very close. And it's going to be super close. Who's going to get gold? Who's going to get silver? Let's look at this replay. Now, that was the uh, entry. No, that was the second lift. That was great. Uh, yeah, I love that. Very innovative, this, this lift. Really, really cool. Very well executed. Yeah. Very, very difficult. It will be the levels at the end, so it's very difficult for us now to judge who will be in first and who in second position because we don't see the levels at the moment. The levels of the steps, the levels of no hold cluster. Yeah. yeah. The one these. partner footwork, we don't see it at the moment. I would say traveling's maybe the same level like the Italians. We're not seeing the breakdown. No, we, I would say the, the other bows lift, the, the two, that was the other perfect lift at the end, that, the rotational of great. I would say better maybe or higher level than the Italians. But it's not a lot. That is, it will be really, really close. Okay. So 83.52 required to uh, take the gold in this long program. And that was just... So they had 55.22 and the other ones had 51.8. So it is a point difference after the short program. So that is not a lot. That is nothing. One point to play with. So, it will be interesting now. This is the last medal to be decided at these World Games. And after this really great style dance yesterday, they were so close to their biggest success ever, the Bagodas now. Will they win the World Games title? Will it be the Italians who will win after the World title now, the World Games title? That's why it will take a time now. I think they will watch the slow motion again and again now. Because it's a big decision to make now. And please stay with us, dear viewers, because we will show you the medal ceremony afterwards. Yeah, there'll be a short break, but let's just concentrate on the results coming in. Still not there. It's exciting. What do you think? What do you think, Karim? I'm going to go with Portugal. I would, Algodas. I would go with them too. But I would have loved to see again this choreo lift. It started very well, very difficult, but at the end she struggled a little. As we said, the medal ceremony is to follow after this. They'll be getting the podium out onto the rink and there'll be medals awarded for the women's free. So now they are here. So let's have a no. wait and see. Wait no. and see. Let's have a look. Oh my word, it's not quite enough. Yeah, da, 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 da. It's enough. It's enough. It's enough. Because they have a total score of no. 138.76 in oh, the Italian 73. Oh, wow. Okay. It is. They it are is first enough. position. But, wow, my mass wasn't quite there. It is point. 
What is it? Point four of a point. No, no, no point it is. three of a point. Yes. Point zero three of a point. <laughs> oh my word. Oh my word. That reminds me on the final of the Olympics in 2018 in the dance competition <laughs> in figure skating. Congratulations and well deserved. What well, a final. Well, we thought they would do it, but we didn't think it would be as close as that. It couldn't be closer, or? It is Portugal that have taken the gold medal. Wow. They did not uh, get the highest score in the uh, long program, but won it by point zero. Yes. Who were with this couple? Great, great, great. Well deserved. Last year was the other way, so yeah, they won the free dance. How close <laughs> can that possibly be? Great. But it is Portugal that win the gold. Italy are in silver and Colombia in bronze. So great job for the Vigores, then Testoni, Piccolo Antonio, and then Gerana Lopera and Carreño Ceballos in third position. And then the US couple, Madison, Mary Kellis and Rafael Amador. What a competition. Just four couples, but so close. That was great to watch.